Okay, y'all, we finna do a mukbang, right? And here go Lucky. Here go Lucky. What you doing? What you doing, Lucky? Huh? What you want? I gave you some food already. We done fed her now. She's just like, well. Hey, poopy. I don't have nothing, though. I don't have no food. Well, I already gave you enough. Don't bite me. Uh, don't bite me. Shit. Okay. See you later. That's Tasha. That's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, drink a little. Our story time is the best. Have you L O L when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. What's up, y'all? Hey guys, it's Steph and Tasha. And we are back with another mukbang. Today we are eating spaghetti and. Hey, beautiful. Hi. If you guys are new to the channel, <laughs> this is my wife and this is me. And um, <laughs> this is me. We about, spaghetti is my favorite food. So mm. it's about to get smashed. If you're new, please check out the rest of our videos if you want to. Subscribe if you want to. Like, share, and comment if you want. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's get into the video. All right, y'all, we back. Homemade spaghetti. Uh, yeah, homemade spaghetti. From Cucumber, me. tomato salad. Homemade. Garlic bread. Homemade. Made it home. This is Tabasco, habanero, and regular Tabasco. Mm -hmm. That's all good here. Yeah. Hi, Eli. It's homemade. It's hot. What'd you say? I said it's homemade. Homemade. Can you get some habanero hot sauce out of there? I think it's in. Is the regular yeah. habanero in here? Or did it you? It might be. All right, I got it's this. Like, I want it on this for some reason. I'm not going to put too much, so yeah. This ain't too bad. It's okay. Mm. Let me get my. Did you want some of this? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Okay. What you mean? I certainly do. Somebody, How do y'all feel about? Oh, go ahead, sweetheart. Somebody asked today for the recipe for this, so I'm gonna tell y'all what I put in it right now: cucumbers, tomatoes, onion, garlic, red wine vinegar, um, olive oil. So you balance those out pretty even. I may put a little bit more um red wine vinegar than olive oil. Lemon juice, garlic, salt, pepper. Italian seasoning and Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. It's really good, you guys. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Happy to, oh, that's what I was going to ask about. I was going to ask about tipping. Just like, what do you guys feel? How do you guys feel about and what do you do? When or if you order something from Instacart or just in general tipping. But I'm talking about Instagram. Hey, Pokey. Hey, Pokey. She got the door. <laughs> so, so the Instacart person, you know, gets whatever they're supposed to get. And they go to the store. They either don't want to look for something. Like, I know, for instance, Olipop is not with the rest of the drinks. It has its own refrigerator. And instead of getting it, they'll just uh, return because they don't refund because they don't want to look for it. Or they don't want to ask anybody. And it happens with several different items. If you already, like, I'll give a tip in the beginning. Okay, $20 tip. Because I know I'm getting a lot of groceries. And then they come and they say they've gotten these things, but they really didn't get them. Or they refunded a bunch of stuff. And they don't even text you and say, hey, they don't have this. Would you like this instead? Or something like that. You know, or they don't go with your replacement. What do you do? Do you reduce the tip? Or do you just keep the tip? Do you take it all the way off? We'll reduce the tip if we see that. It depends on how bad they do. Okay, so today, you guys, we ordered some Prego. Tasha wanted the 64 ounce. I don't know if they didn't have it. I'm assuming they didn't have it. He ended up getting 14 ounce, mm -hmm. which is a huge difference from 64 ounces. So it's like you could have at least got five of those or something. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You just gonna bring me one 14 ounce? Mm -hmm. Like, or, that's just lazy. Or, um, I ordered a 64 ounce, but it wasn't the, the regular one. It was like, I don't know if it was sugar free or something, but they had, I know they, I'm, Pretty sure they had the larger 64 ounce, the regular one. He just mm -hmm. didn't, didn't even try. It was just like, here, let me just get this. And it's men. And then somebody just went on TikTok to say that she experienced the same thing when she has male shoppers. They get a lot of return, uh, what do you call it? Refunds, because they don't want to look. It's like, if you don't want a grocery shop, just don't. There's Uber. I'm sure Uber and Instacart pays around the same. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. No, it should have. Like, a lot of times we order Instacart and end up having to still go to the store. Because <laughs> they don't get what you want or get you rotten fruit. Mm -hmm. 
But I mean, that's why it's good to do everything yourself. You want something done, right? Do it yourself. That's true. I remember one time a guy went though, I and I was like, like I everything he got. One of my favorite shoppers was a guy. Mm -hmm. He was so bomb. I mean, he, oh, he was thorough as hell, y'all. Yeah. I was on the phone with him. Yeah. And those are people that get big tips. Exactly. And they don't expect it. But those are people that get big tips. The ones that just are doing their job. That's with anybody, with any job. Just, it's just like. I think I'm not really be hungry, y'all, because, you know, it's my favorite food. I am hungry. What you want to eat I'm hungry. No, normally that's what you do. Normally you scarf it. Your old cheeks be full as hell. You would've been done eating by now. With some spaghetti, I know. Mm -hmm. Luckily I ordered um, whole tomatoes. So I just pureed them and made spaghetti. I didn't really, really want to. I wanted to do an easy one, but it tastes good though. What do you Thank think? You. Tastes good. Do you like it better than normal or the same? Do I like it better than Prego? Yeah. Then your normal spaghetti. It's the same. I mean, do you like it better? Um, to me, it tastes. I don't know. It tastes exactly the same. To you? Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What I did do different was it's a little less sweet. I me. put fresh basil and um, fresh parsley. Oh, I thought the parsley was gonna be strong too. Mm. I can't really taste it. You said it's less sweet? To me, it tastes less sweet. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm. I put sugar in my spaghetti. You do? Mm-hmm. Mm. When I make it, uh, and I don't put any prego in it, if I put prego in it, I don't put any sugar. Yeah, I think prego is sweet. Yeah, prego is sweet. Mm -hmm. I like it, though. I, ain't gonna, I like sweet. I don't like too sweet. Like when my friend came over and her boyfriend came, he made up. It, it was spaghetti, right? Mm -hmm. It was the worst. I hated it. It was too sweet. Was he put sausages in it. <laughs> I, I was like, oh okay. girl, but I didn't want to say. And I was just like, go ahead and make it. I'm over there eating it. Like no, it was a lot. Low budget cheese topping. Low budget cheese. I mean, the milk. cheese didn't eat milk. It was just sitting on top like a hat. Whoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 that cheese hat. <clears throat> I'm gonna be quiet today, y'all, because I'm tired. I ain't gonna lie. Tired as it. I'm gonna stop. Stop the topic in a minute. Let me just get some of this. Ow! Ooh. Oh, this is so good. So good. Clearly Canadian, y'all. It's, um, I don't know. This came out. I don't know when this came out, but I, we used to drink this when we were kids. Mm -hmm. And we just found it at World Market. So, hold on. Let me get to the topic right now. This is a good topic. I like the topic. It's um, something different, I think. Okay. Baby ain't saying nothing. <laughs> I'm barely here. Shit. I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be back to my regular tomorrow. Okay. All right. Um. Mm hmm. All right. So I should have read this yesterday because she wrote a lot, and now I have to condense it. Um. Basically, she met a guy. She's a bartender, and there was a regular who would come in, you know, often. They always had good conversations about their lives, and she started to have feelings for him. He's got no kids. He's a bachelor, and he's an athletic coordinator. That's what he told her or whatever. Um, she said, she told herself the next time she saw him, she was going to shoot her shot. But he did it before she did, so cool. Mm -hmm. He came up to her, said, hey, I want to take you out, whatever. And then he said, but I want to let you know up front, I'm sexually attracted to you. I don't know why you would mention that. I mean, yeah, okay. I don't know. I'm anyway, French. but and she so. told him that she was celibate. Oh. Okay, she said, so um, she gave him her number. They text. And when she got off, they talked for the rest of the day. She said, I really thought he was interested in me. I gave up the goods. What? 
I gave up the good. She didn't say when though. She didn't give me a timeline, but I guess it was pretty soon. She said we, you know, we and were. She throwing the what y'all what? She throwing what? Oh yeah, she throwing the towel. <laughs> yeah, bye, <laughs> Sam. Bye, okay. Sam. I thought she was gonna hold on strong. Okay. Okay, so she said they were intimate twice, and then he started acting funny right afterwards. Um, like he wasn't trying to pursue her. Mm. So she said she didn't trip because niggas gonna be niggas. So she was like, whatever, okay. Okay. And she said one day she's at work on a Sunday and he comes up there. He, she said he's never been up there on Sunday, I guess. And when he sees her face, he, he, it looked like he saw a ghost. And um, he said, oh, I thought you didn't work on Sunday. And she was like, no, my off days are Monday and Wednesday, whatever. So he was trying to miss her. I guess so. So then he says, well, I'm gonna let I'm you know. That. You done what? Try to go to the strip club when somebody that I didn't want to tip was gonna be off. <laughs> All right, so um, he said that he told her that he his coworkers are coming up there. He was like, I just want to let you know my coworkers are here. One is a female, so you know, don't. Why would he even bring somebody there? I mean, a million places to go to. That's his place, though. I don't care. Okay, go ahead. Let me see what else happened. Okay, so right, ask this. Okay, fine. I'll go. Okay, so um, she was like, okay, cool. Enjoy the football game, whatever. But anyway, she said that she comes up there and she said, but she found out that the co-worker was not a co-worker. It was actually somebody he was dating. Um, so after that, she stopped talking to him. Then she said, um, anyway, later on, she come to find out he's married with two kids and he's a junior varsity football coach. Oh my God. Yes. She said the man lied about every now, oh everything. My God. She said, no, this is the tea. I'm pregnant. And she said she didn't want to keep the baby because of him lying about everything. So she told him she wasn't going to have the baby and she needed to pay. She didn't have the money for um, an abortion. He's because she's in Texas. So she has to travel and all that. So she needed more money than, you know, typically you mm -hmm. would need for an abortion. So he was like, all right, cool. I'll give it to you because he doesn't want to have the baby, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. But he waits till a month later to give her um, the to offer her the money. And she's like, well, no, because I don't I, now. She says she's been going to the doctor or whatever. And now she's 13 weeks and she doesn't want to abort the baby anymore. Mm -hmm. She wants to keep the baby for herself and she doesn't care, you know, mm -hmm. about him. And she said, um, wow, he is going through a divorce. Um, she said, which is it's not my fault at all. He should have been honest with me about him being married, separated or in the process of getting divorced. I wouldn't have, you know, slept with him because that's just one line I told myself I would never cross. Now he's trying to say, ask her why. He's trying to convince her not to be a single mother. Why do you want to be a single mother? You already have a kid. I'm pregnant, mother. Right. <laughs> I mean, what do you mean? Why do I want to be a single mother? I didn't want to. I'm pregnant and now I decided I'm keeping the baby. Yes. Yeah, so. It's not like she out here searching to do something. Right. She's pregnant. Okay. So, um, all he's worried about is being on child support and how this is going to mess up his relationship. Oh, well, with you should have been worried about that when you was raw dogging and busting things. Okay, <laughs> these men are crazy. So she wants to know, is she wrong for changing her mind? And do you feel like I should put him on child support or see if he's gonna try to be a part of the child's life? Wait, what was that? What question? Do you think she's wrong for changing her mind as far as wanting to keep her no. baby? No, absolutely not. And do you think that she should put him on child support or wait to see if he's gonna be a part of the child's life? I'll put him on child support. I mean, Immediately, they can be on child life. I mean, yeah. You think you should wait to see if they gonna give you money? I don't think. <clears throat> um, I don't know. Me personally, go away. I would probably just talk to him during the pregnancy and see. Okay, are you gonna be there? What What is it gonna be? I would like you to be in the child's life. If If you want him to be in the child's life which i'm sure you probably do most women want their kids dad to be in life then explain that to him i'm keeping this baby and i would like you to be a part of the child's life um what else can you do and then i mean you can't put him on child support until after you have the baby anyway so i guess if you don't see any changes if he doesn't want to give you any money and you need help part. i don't feel like he's gonna be a part of the kid's life but, but he might pay I mean, yeah but I, I mean i would give him a, a chance i guess but i, I don't see it. don't count on it yeah. He worried about women and getting. He didn't even have enough respect. That's my thing. Why did he bring a girl to the place where he's dating? They were still dating. Like, Cause she said she cut him off after that. Mm -hmm. That's just disrespectful. Even if I wasn't gonna be at work, you got my coworkers and shit seeing you. Mm -hmm. Like I don't know. 
Girl, he worried about himself. I, I don't feel like he about to be in your life or the child's life. He probably ain't even getting a divorce. He told you that, but I mean, mm -hmm. I don't I know if that divorced. actually up. true. What I want to know is how you go from celibate to letting this guy Bro, no, you, why did you do that? Why did you at least wear a condom, ma'am? I mean, not you, but him. Why you didn't make him wear one? You know what I'm saying? Like, we need to, we all need to make better decisions, men and women. You know what I mean? He should have made a better decision, too. Yeah. Like, why did you do that? You know you ain't trying to be, you wasn't even, all you wanted to do was have sex with this lady. Period. Mm -hmm. Why she told you, do you that? that she was celibate. <clears throat> And you still decided to pursue her anyway when you could have easily went and messed with somebody who wasn't celibate, who wasn't thinking about that. But you chose to date somebody who obviously valued her body mm -hmm. until she met you. Right. <laughs> uh, she you valued her celibacy and then you take it. Not take it, but I think that's wrong of him and he's trash because he could have just found someone else like he did that quickly. I mean, he was already, I mean, he's married. And dating several women at one time. I mean, he, he got. I agree. That's why I mean, that's why women have to protect themselves. Yeah. Because I feel like this encounter happened pretty fast after they mm -hmm. decided to start talking. It sounds like. Sounds to me. like it. Y'all wasn't dating. Y'all wasn't in a relationship. So you already know. I mean, you. I wouldn't even be thinking like, okay, I want this person to be my baby's father. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that means you don't be raw dogging. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you make sure that don't happen. Why do, why are y'all doing this? Why are y'all letting guys you met three weeks ago that you're not in a relationship with get you pregnant? Yeah. You got to think about what you want. Do you want a baby with this man? If so, cool. Do whatever it is you trying to do and be unsafe. But if you are not sure that you want a child by this person, you should at least, at the very least, be safe. Right. You didn't I know say, not, not enough about this man at all. You don't know his character. You don't know what kind of person he is. What kind of dad you are bringing for your child. You don't know shit. Mm -mm. Hell no. So. But no, you ain't wrong. No. Give him a chance to be a dad. And then the minute he don't be, put his ass for child support. That's what I say. I agree. And keep the child if you want to. Yeah, I mean, he should have made a better decision. Sorry, man. Okay. <laughs> Every time you start, start, go. <laughs> Dang, stop. Go ahead. No, I ain't saying nothing. Else. I ain't got nothing to say. No, babe, come on. I don't have it. Mm. Congratulations on your new bundle of joy <laughs> that you're about to have. Okay. Um, I don't know. All the baby needs is you. If he doesn't want to be there, it ain't really gonna matter. As long as you love it, the baby will be fine. I think. No, me too. Hopefully it's a Pisces. They won't give a fuck. Neither will a Scorpio. <laughs> right. <laughs> Until next time, only your vibes. Peace.